Well, after all the buildup, the time has come. Nebraska and Florida about to take the field at the Fiesta Bowl to decide the national championship. First out, the Cornhuskers, ranked number one in the country. Coach Tom Osborne's team has won 24 straight, looking for back-to-back -back national championships. And now the Florida Gators, the second-ranked team in the nation. Also an undefeated season, 12-0, the SEC champions. Jim, I've never seen two teams that are more confident than these two teams. They reflect the attitude of their head coaches. I've just never seen anything like it. Redell Anthony will run it back for the Gators. Anthony, another speedster, and look out. Out across the 30 to the 40-yard line, a big return by Redell Anthony. What overlooked Elijah Williams, who rushed for 858 yards. Jerome Evans is the fullback. Tremaine Allen, they seldom go to the tight end. Chris Doring and Ike Hilliard combined for 32 touchdown catches. The offensive line started every game this year with Jason Odom, a four-year starter, and Reggie Green as well. Same thing, four years starter on that line. Jeff Mitchell, Donna Young, Mo Collins. Okay, here's Nebraska, a defense that had two shutouts this year. Tomich, we've talked about him. The Peter brothers from New Jersey, Christian and Jason, Grant Wistrom, a sophomore. Linebackers, Foreman, Ellis, and Farley in the secondary that will be tested. Booker and Tyrone Williams, Mike Minter, and Tony Veland. Second down and one, staying with three receivers in the game. Werfel's pass, intercepted, and then dropped. Incomplete. First and ten, still with Doring, Hilliard, and Redell Anthony, the receivers. With pressure, they get to Werfel this time. And there's Jared Tomich in that full group of Cornhuskers. Well, this is the whole Nebraska plan. Keep Danny Werfel off guard. Here we see Jared Tomich coming in, putting pressure on him. Werfel tucks the ball away, does a great job of not fumbling that football. Of this year, Bart Edmiston, who was the regular kicker three years ago, took a couple of years where he backed up. Now he's returned, and he's opened the game with... Is he in it? With Jeff Makovica, the fullback. Mark Gilman, the tight end. Wing back is Cluster Johnson. Brandon Holbein is the split end. An offensive line, another strong one here at Nebraska, the anchor being Aaron Graham. They have not allowed a sack, by the way, all season. And Frazier threw 163 times. Second down, Phillips. Here goes Lawrence Phillips, breaking one inside the 30. In seven of their nine games against the SEC teams they face, they allowed one touchdown or less. On the line, Church, Barnard, Chester, and Campbell. The linebackers, Daniels, who made the last hit, Bates, and Ben Hanks, longtime leader on this team. Fred Weary and Lott are the corners. Wright and Brown are the... Frazier looking left side now. Wide open over there. Phillips. Phillips inside the 10. Lawrence Phillips scores the game's opening touchdown. Jim, Nebraska has done this for 30 years. They start their offense one way, and then they come back with a counter play, either a pass or a run. This was a little counter pass from the quarterback back to the tailback for the touchdown. Chris Brown in, extra point. Blocked. Florida this season, scoring drive. Took an average of two minutes and four seconds. How would you like to be playing defense in that thing? This third down and 10. This is about as far out, too, as they could expect from their place kicker. Redell Anthony down at the three yard line. Three receivers to the right, second and goal. Setting up a quarterback sneak again. Werfel just reached out 
and found the goal line. One of the things that's so hard about this Florida offense is they spread you out and then they can run the ball or they spread you out and they can throw it. The Gators lead after one 10 6. Second and two for the Cornhuskers at midfield. John Bedrill has come in as a third receiver. On the keep. Frazier tucking that ball away. He has played the role of Tommy Frazier in practice so that this team could practice for Tommy Frazier. And in fact, he went to Bradenton Manatee where Tommy Frazier played his career, looked up to Tommy. Tommy said, hey, you can't impersonate me totally. Jim? Lawrence Phillips breaking one inside the 10, a touchdown, Nebraska. This is Nebraska football. Behind the best line in the United States, Lawrence Phillips gets the ball deep, cuts back, and runs, runs through the Florida Gators for the touchdown. First and 24, and the Gators backed up at the eight yard line. Dead ball, false start on the offense. That's Florida's fifth penalty tonight already and four on the offensive unit. I think on the total offense, it's exactly what we expected. We expected Nebraska to be able to run the ball and do a great job, and we expected Florida to come out throwing, and that's what they've done. First and 28. Terry Jackson lined up. Now he's uh, coming out of the end zone in motion. This is that five-receiver set. Werfel, look out! They're in on him. Should be a safety. Football might have been knocked close also. They're going to rule him down just inches outside of the end zone. And Terrell Farley is furious. We talked at the top of the, of the game that the pressure that Nebraska could get on Werfel was going to be the key, the, the key to this game. And we've got Farley coming on the right side with a blitz. He's one of the best blitzers on Nebraska's defensive team. Did that look like a safety to you? It looked like a safety to me, Jim. Plus, the ball was coming loose on the back end of it. He may have fumbled it out to the one-foot line. Nonetheless, second and 31. You can't get any closer. There they got him. There's the safety. Jamel Williams. Here we see Jamel Williams, number 28, coming from the left side of the screen. Chuck McBride, the defensive coordinator from Nebraska, told me he's one of the best blitzers on the team. He runs like a defensive back. No one ever to touched him here at all. I mean, he just came clean. Nebraska wanted to change up on Werfel. Four-man rush, five-man rush, six-man rush. They got him that time with a six-man rush. The free kick coming from the 20. Matt Teague. Clinton Childs to the 30. Makes the move to the 40. Look, spreading it out themselves to a five receiver set. They're running Florida's offense. <laughs> now they practiced enough against it. Quarterback draw in Frazier. They broke, let him break a tackle and he gets to the outside. Frazier with blockers in front. Tackle those tailback well. In this particular case, you see a missed tackle right there. Frazier, the great athlete that he is, gets the ball north and south down the field. A missed tackle there. Well, the hurtful one was the first seven years old. You ought to be able to run the option good, huh? <laughs> I think he does. Second and goal now. Here's Amon Green. He is in for the touchdown. Spurrier spread the field out with his normal offensive approach. Five wide outs. He got blitz, and all of a sudden, since that safety, the bottom has fallen out here. We have seen a huge momentum change, and what a hit on Jacquez Green by Joel Makavica. Attack tonight, Jacquez Green. Well, because he's such a powerful receiver as well as a kick returner. One of the things that... Ooh, one of the his things leg get caught there. ...little thing to, for this team, too, to watch their teammate, their fallen teammate here on this play. 
really difficult on a team, Jim. They need to make sure once the injured player is removed that they get their heads and their emotions back into this football game. Still 12 seconds on the play clock, plenty of time. Werfel steadies his crew, gives it to Elijah Williams, and this is going to be close. Grant, they're not even going to measure. It's fourth and less than a yard. Nebraska is great against the run. They came into the game saying they are not going to allow Florida to run the ball. Third down and one foot, and they stop them. He won't gamble down at the 22, that's for certain. 12 rushing plays so far tonight for the Gators for a total of four yards. Has been a Jekyll and Hyde performance so far for the Gators. Short kick fielded, fielded by Octavius McFarland, and Nebraska set up an excellent position again. Third and eight. Ranger zips it, caught by Clester Johnson. All right, Nebraska's going for it on fourth, and a long yard. Option left, Frazier, changing direction. Frazier dives for it. Florida over there trying to point out the spot. Ed Chester was giving chase. Jim, that was an unbelievable play by the most dangerous player in college football. Frazier comes out on, on the counter option play. He gets stopped by the Florida defense, reverses his field, and just individually turns on the burners and dives for the first down. What a play. First down at the 20. Inside they go. Looking for... 15-point lead, 26-yard boot, split it. So successful going to Doring on the game's opening series, he got four balls on that drive. See if Werfel goes back to him. That pass picked off, picked off by Michael Booker. Free room ahead, Michael Booker in for the touchdown. Bad throw because he couldn't put his weight into that pass. Looked like the uh, leg, too, of uh, Reggie Green, his left guard, uh, got a little tangled with the quarterback as he was trying to fling it. He's over there explaining to Steve Spurrier that I couldn't get my body into that throw. I couldn't come through with my arm because I got hit. Boy, is Nebraska coming through here in this quarter. And the fake again on the reverse. Nebraska with 26 points in this quarter. come in uncontested again on the quarterback. I think it's important to note, none of us should forget, that earlier this year, Florida came back against Tennessee being down 30 to 14. Illegal they came motion. back and scored Coming over 60 offense. points in that game. So this game is far from over if Florida just stays in there, keeps their poise, and continues to run their offense. They've got to find a way, though, to get Danny Werfel protected. In that game against Tennessee, a team that will likely finish third, maybe even second, depending on tonight's outcome, in the national electrifying second quarter. Has a set of Fiesta Bowl record, as you might expect. Success in this game, 0-4 in the Fiesta all time. But they're in on him again. Eric Warfield blitzing. Soft ball from Texarkana. That's the fifth sack. One of them was a safety. Werfel was sacked twice by players who are usually on the third team depth chart. Eric Warfield and Mike Rucker, a freshman and sophomore who have seen limited action this year, but they each got a sack on the last series. Two things that Nebraska felt coming into this game were important. One, to rotate the defensive line so they can't. One second to go. That was wide left. Third and one. Easily getting the yardage. Phillips. Down at the 45. So, under a minute to go. Wide open, wide open. Is Holbein, Holbein making a move to get down near the 10 yard line. So, Nebraska with no timeouts, but 17 seconds to go. Football at the 7 yard line. 